once you have completed your buttons and how you get the buttons coming out at the same point is you lay them out so that they're open spots on the top where the dance pad cover or the hard foam la layer interacts is you use them in you will change the applied areas like so and alternate. Then when each of these buttons is flipped over you get the same point. Where it's coming out of. In this case we are setting up the right pad according to our diagram. So we used our right pad harness and right pad control box in this case. Now we will undo the joints on the harness and attach button wires to the buttons. Unplug the male molex from the wiring harness completion step and lay them out as they would be connecting to the buttons. Like that. Or down or right. like this for our A and B like this for our up question mark And don't be afraid to orient the wires as needed. So we orient them the left button this way because we're going to run our left center down here. Now that's mapped out where we're going to position our wires, our button wires, we can move this out of the way, grab our stapler, and start stapling the wires to the contact areas we left exposed.
Don't be afraid to uncoil the Ethernet, Ethernet wire bit. Take the notch in the front of the stapler, line it on your wire with the aluminum foil. until you get two staples in each corner. Then repeat for the other side of the button with the other wire for that button. Like so. Now we get our duct tape back and we cover up these regions. Like so. You want them to come out the corners, very corners of the wire. Like so. Then we flip the button back over, make sure everything will line up like we want it to. At this, point, we can, and at this point, we can still rotate the button with respect to the wire placement. Because we know this will be coming down here, we can flip this like that. And we repeat the process with this wire that wire, this wire, that wire, and that wire.